what's up guys i hope you guys are all doing great so i am currently sitting in the parking lot of the rose bowl flea market this only happens once a month so i'm so excited to be here and i'm just gonna go and check it out i've never been here before and it is one o'clock right now and it only goes till three so i know from like videos that i've watched that this place is huge so i'm not going to be able to get through all of it unfortunately but i do have two hours so we're going to go and see what we can find and hopefully since it's like the end of the day they'll be doing like specials or like they'll give me some deals you know what i'm saying trying to trying to keep that cash in my pocket you know what I'm saying? but yeah and also i forgot to brush my hair today so we're working we're working with this but it's gonna be a great day it's sunny and yeah i'm just excited to go in there and see what it's all about i believe it's nine dollars to get in so good thing i have some cash i usually never have cash but yes i hope you guys will enjoy this video hopefully i will find some great things and yeah let's go ahead and come along with me to the rose bowl flea market when you keep seeing parking spaces that are way closer than when you parked yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I have no clue why I parked so far away. Everybody's leaving and there's plenty of parking spots, but we're out here doing this and this is my first time, so I know nothing. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the entrance is because there's a ton of people walking this way, but then there's like booths over there. First time props, you know what I'm saying? People are actually bringing out really cool things, like so many mid-century modern pieces and rugs. Yo, I did not bring enough cash for all this. Here it is. Okay, the admission tickets are over here. Let's go buy an overpriced ticket. Hello, how many? Hi, just one. Thank you. Thank you. It's like Disney World. Oh my gosh, I need this. Oh, so pretty. Look at these rugs. Wow, I need that one. So pretty. Oh my gosh, this one's gorgeous. These are just so pretty. This is so cute. It's from Ralph Lauren, but it's 70. Oh, that one's cool. Hi. Hello. <laughs> a whole another section across that bridge i do not have enough time for all that but just know this place is freaking huge but it's awesome okay so i'm heading out now i have already spent like 70 dollars 60 dollars so i'm ready to be done it's hot everybody's closing up but it was a good time and i'll show you guys everything that i got when i get to my car and cool off a little bit What's up guys? So I made it to my car and I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. So I think it's safe to say that this is the best thrift trip that I've had in a very long time, if not ever, because I always go in looking for like band tees and just oversized, you know, t-shirts, like graphic t-shirts. So that's always like my main goal is to find thrifted t-shirts and that's all I got in this haul. So I think I got four, maybe five t-shirts. So. Super stoked about that. I think that's the second time I've used the word stoked in a video and still not happy about that result. But actually, before I get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Rose Bowl. So it's in Pasadena, California, and it's like, I think it's the number one biggest flea market in California. I could be wrong, but it honestly is so big and I don't see how anybody could go through all of it in one day. It's just so huge. But yeah, the next time I go, I do want to go earlier and see if I can go for longer. Even though like I went for two hours and that was like enough for me. I was already like kind of overwhelmed and I just, you know, got enough stuff that I, you know, wanted to leave. 
but oh sorry my eye itches but i also think if you had more time you could really just like go through all of the racks and find like super good deals because you were able to find like really great stuff everywhere you went but just like the prices varied a lot depending on which booth you were at so yeah i almost almost bought a shirt for like 60 dollars very close but I, that was like the first booth I went to. So I was like, let me just see like the other prices. So I was thankful that I did that because even though I really like that t-shirt. Anyways, so I got this Harley Davidson shirt, which I was very happy about. This is super cute. So it looks like that. And then I love when they have it on the back also. So this is from Las Vegas. And this was only $15, which I was very happy about. And I just, I haggled a little bit. I don't always love like asking for lower prices because I'm a woman and I just don't like being annoying. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know the reason, but I did ask for it for $12 and he gave it to me for that. So that's a tip, you know, you can always ask for a little bit lower. So very happy about this. This is probably gonna be like my new, you know, go-to shirt. I love oversized black t-shirts what can i say then the next booth that i went to the guy had so many t-shirts and that's what i was looking for i was like i just want the like the booth to have like a ton of t-shirts that way i don't know i feel like it, when they only have like a few they're going to be more expensive so when i find a booth that has like a ton of t-shirts i'm i know i'm in the right place so i found three different t-shirts that i liked okay this is the back it's just black uh, so i got this ramones t-shirt so it's very plain and i know they sell ones that look like this at target but this is like already like kind of lived in and more vintagey feeling i don't know how actually vintage this is but yeah so i got this one then i got this graphic tee that has um cars on it are they, are they like trucks i don't even know what these are but i just love the huge graphic and then i love that the graphic is even bigger on the back like love that and i love like this charcoal kind of gray color for a t-shirt so i got that one this is like even more oversized than the last one which i really like and then i also found this harley davidson like tank top and then at the back or actually which one is the back i'm assuming this is the front the harley davidson and then this is the back so cute so i'm excited to wear this just you know, around the house or even tucked into like high-waisted shorts in the summer. This will be really cute. So I got, what did I get? Yeah, so I got, so yeah, I got all three of these shirts. I just asked him for $20 for three of them and he said yes. So I slipped him a $20 bill and the rest is history, so. Okay, then the last thing is probably my favorite. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite and I don't know why. I paid $30 for this, which it's probably, it was probably too expensive. Okay, let me just show it to you. So, so cute. I just love this graphic. I love it so much. I kind of wish there was something on the back. I honestly don't know why I paid $30. This is probably just an impulse buy. So the booth that I bought this from, the owner wasn't actually there. So like the neighboring person um, kind of handled it for me. So she like called him on the phone and it was kind of confusing. I wish the guy was there because I, I don't know if I could have gotten this for cheaper. But she made it sound like he was trying to sell this all day for $60 and then he decided since I was like one of the last customers to give it to me for 30 because I'm sure somebody would have already picked this up if it was 30 So I don't know. But this is super cute. I'm very happy that I got it. I think it's awesome. So let's see, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I spent $62 on five pairs of awesome graphic t-shirts, which I think is a really great deal. And then it was also $9 to get in. So factoring that in, um, but yeah, I think the Rose Bowl is an awesome place. I definitely want to go back for some rugs because they had so many amazing, beautiful, like Moroccan looking rugs that I just like love so much. So now I wish I didn't buy mine at Home Goods, but oh well. I kind of want one where I can like put it on top of my other rug and like layer them, you know, that kind of look. But yeah, I definitely suggest going if you guys are in the area. So it's every second Sunday of the month. So it's only here 12 times a year. So yeah, I've been meaning to come all the other months, but I just, there's always been something to do. So I decided to go today. And yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. And give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to go to more of the Rose Bowl flea markets in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.